Greetings and salutations, viewer. It is I, Eric J. Chucky, and we are playing Final Fantasy VI, my favorite game. I had a couple of uh, shaky episodes, the last two episodes I put up. I like how this guy kind of seems like he's walking towards you. Um, in fact, this is the first time I've ever stood there and let him walk past. I usually go up and, like, meet him. Uh, yeah, last two episodes were a little shaky. I wasn't in my best place recording them. That's too bad, because one of them was the opera, but... Ugly brute. Better make tracks. To remind you of where we are, uh, this is Vector, the Imperial City. Uh, and to comment on something that maybe I didn't make super clear, I mean, I'm sure you got it. You guys are clever. You're following along. But, um... So, a couple episodes ago, we watched the backstory between Edgar and Sabin um, about the coin toss. And while we were on the airship, uh, Celeste gets a coin from Edgar to Hustle Setzer. A two-headed coin. In the back, in the flashback, uh, Edgar mentions they'll decide their fates with a toss of a coin. And, um, it's, uh, it's heads. They, they both go whichever way they want and do whatever it is they want to do. Edgar stayed behind to take care of the kingdom and Saban went off to train and become a monk and all that. Um, but it was a two-headed coin. So Edgar did what was best for his brother and his kingdom and absolved his brother of all guilt basically. Um, it, 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 it seems obvious, but like, I would hate for you guys to go forward not picking up on that, so I just want to mention it. Uh, we have sneaked into the pub here, um, where there is some weird graphics going on with that guy's hair. I wonder if there's another dude with that color palette in this game. Another, like, with that sprite. Uh, that's interesting. There's plot in this pub, and a lot of people don't get up there, up here, because um, you have to go past a bunch of Imperial soldiers that you have to get into a fight with if you encounter them, the way I was evading that one guy, Metal Gear Solid style. Uh, so there's actually some really good plot here, though. Let's talk to some people. Your returners? Not a problem by me. Shall I tell you something neat? Yes, of course. All the soldiers in the Magitech Research Facility can use magic. That Professor Sid is truly a genius. Here's one for you. That guy Kefka, he was one of Sid's first experimental Magitech knights. He gained extraordinary magic power, but the process wasn't perfected yet. Something in Kefka's mind snapped that day. So Kefka was not always crazy. Kefka was one of the first people to step up and offer to become uh, a Magitech knight. Kefka was a normal guy once. And it doesn't excuse his behavior or anything, but it does add that layer of depth, knowing that his devotion to the Emperor and to the Empire broke him. Um, or, as a lot of people have interpreted it, Kefka didn't step up, and he was forced to do it. I kind of think it was a devotion to the Empire thing. Uh, he was um, Emperor Gestal's court jester, basically, for a long time, hence the whole weird clown motif. Um, so yeah, that's that's a big tidbit for you to know that Kefka was once a, a decent person and something about the process not being quite right infused his brain with, with this shit he can't control. Like, look at Terra. Um, right, uh, you know, everything that uh, Ramu talked about with her not being able to reconcile her existence. And her existence... Well, some of that might be spoilers for stuff we haven't seen yet, but we will say that it's definitely more natural than the way Kefka was created, the way Celeste was created. Um, so it's a tragedy. It's a tragedy we don't get to see. It's a tragedy that's really easy to miss because this pub is hard-ish to get into, easy to miss, you know, that as well there. Um, and it's just an interesting part of the character's backstory. We never get to see the, the same Kefka, the Kefka before all of that. And I don't think we ever need to. I don't think we need like a Final Fantasy VI prequel where Kefka's a good guy. You know, he, he works just fine as he is. He's become a force. But, uh, still interesting. General Leo's a good man. Compared to him, Kefka's it. But what am I saying? 
Zen, Miranda, Albrook, they're all controlled by the Empire. It's all because of the Returners. That's interesting. Is that propaganda? Or did the Returners do something? Is it true they extract magic from monsters inside the facility? So there we go. There's this little pub. It's kind of difficult to get into. Let's see if we can do some more adventuring around without attracting Imperial attention here. Eee. General Leo refused to magitech infusion. He's a warrior's warrior. That's basically there's a way to go up here for the Jesus. Um, but yeah, these these magitech guys, like there's a definite stopping point that you are not going to be able to get past. I believe, unlike the um the base, if I run into these dudes, a fight starts. Yeah, Imperial Castle. So, here we get stopped. And we have to run. I looked it up just to make sure. Oh! Returner scum. These guys in the red and white robes look really sick. They remind me of uh, the Emperor's Guards in Return of the Jedi. This is Guardian. We need to go. We need to go. I don't want to die. And it's nice that he's not doing anything. That thing is way beyond our ken. So there it kicks us out. Um, I could show you. And, and I might later when the stakes are a little less high. But Guardian is a tough enemy. Uh... But yeah, so I, I double-checked it. We don't need to go to Zen, Miranda. Uh, we went to Albrook. And Kira. Sid, the director of the Magitech Research, is a genius. He gave my child the gift of cure magic. Thanks, friend. General Celeste turned traitor? Why? The other side's sure to lose. And I like this. I, I didn't think about it when I was younger and played these games, but it's nice to see that they're Imperial citizens who by the Empire's line of thinking, either because they want to or because of propaganda. It shows why the Returners are a small force. Armor shop? Is there decent shit to buy here? Priest Miter, we've got those. Mithril Vests. I think we're okay on those. Yeah, they're really expensive, too. Oh no, they're not bad. Um. Let's get one more. I don't know who will benefit from it, but I'd rather have one than not have one. Uh, white dress. That's so expensive, though. Let's not worry about that yet. We've got one. That should be enough. Uh, but yeah, I double-checked. There's nothing really exclusive that you'll see there. There might be some tweaky dialogue changes, but this isn't, this isn't intended to be a completionist run. The same way I didn't, you know, go off in multiple directions to... Um, Check and see what Shadow does when you try to return to Narsh, um, just to show you guys. God, that would take a lot of time. And it's a lot of just backtracking and saves coming, and I don't really care to do that. It's neat, but y'all can look it up or play the game for yourselves if you really want to see it. Uh, weapons, I think we're all set on Sakra. Don't have the money for that. I'm sure we'll get one eventually. To read the item description. So, here's an interesting little place. Just a little house with a little lady inside. Pledge your allegiance to the Empire? Of course. We want to stay incognito, right? Fine. Pledge your allegiance to the Empire? No. What? Guards can attack us. Oh, they're actually called guards. That's funny. Ah, but notice, those don't look like Imperial Guards. fight. Right. I'm sure you can do it. Young people, hang in there. And the lady heals us for free. There's a reason for that. It's because if we sleep in the inn, and this is kind of a neat scene, and we're not, we don't have a lot of money right now, so I'll show you. 
Guess I'll stay here and volunteer to be a soldier. And the army that destroyed our village? What about your promise to be get a new in Miranda? Just the tension, the unrest. People have decisions to make, you know? It's on the house. Have a snooze. Okay. So this is why the free healing lady is there. Uh, because all the healing here is free, right? Uh -huh, wink, wink. Oh, they didn't do it. That's weird. That guy usually sneaks in and picks your pockets in the night. That's strange. Wonder why it didn't. Maybe it doesn't do it on the first try. Well, I mean, fuck it. I went to all the trouble to show you guys. Maybe because I beat the guards first? Maybe because I pledged my allegiance to the Empire? Wild. Okay. Well, whatever. Maybe it's something this hack fixed. I don't know. There's not a lot else you can explore around Vector right now. Um, where we need to get is a Magitek research facility, which is this way. But look at all those guards. There's no way we're going to get in there. Shh. I'm a Returner Sympathizer. I've heard of you. While I distract the soldiers, climb onto the steel tower from this box and enter the facility. Okay. Yes, we're ready. We, we just slept for two days. Love this guy's dance, my favorite thing. Oh, I'm gonna be sick. Get out of here. Alright. Get up on here. And this kind of auto controls from here. Oh, I'm gonna throw up now. Hey! Let's go sneak. Now, we can go down there and talk to those guys. And I, either they fight us. I'm pretty sure they fight us, but let's not risk it. That guy pretended to puke, or really did make himself puke, uh, just to, you know, get us in there. Let's not make his sacrifice in vain. I'm going to switch to Celeste here. Obviously, I've already done that. That's not the way we go. This is the way in. This is one of the best songs in the game. This is uh, back when I downloaded Final Fantasy MP3s and listened to them. One of my favorite ones to find different um, varieties of. Just, I don't know, I just think it's really cool. Ooh, got a tent from that guy. Can I figure out how to do the new uh, Blitz? Let's auto crossbow some guys. Let's mug a dog. No, nope, still can't do it. Man, Auto Crossbow did not do much damage. Oh, I think they might be weak to magic. Yeah, because even Saban's not doing much with that. The fire spell did a lot, so let's use Bio Blaster. There we go. I don't want to use up all our MP, though, so... Might be better off just fighting with him. Oh, they're dead. Cool. It's been uh, probably a week since I last sat down and recorded. Um, I oh, we've got a lot of healing items though. Let's let's just use those. Everybody else is fine. Where's everybody at on Esper's? The lock learns sleep. That's uh oh that was him. Adventurer. Uh Siren. Okay, that was the first spell. He's getting there. HP up. Cool, 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 cool. Everything seems to be fine. 
Uh, I am highly caffeinated. This place is complicated. This is another one of those places where there's like so many different paths you can take. Bunch of hidden shit. Flame Tongue is a sword. Better for Celeste. Let's actually go look at it. Sword that may cast fire upon striking an enemy. Flame Tongue. If it casts fire, that's basically free magic damage, which all the stuff in here is you know, strong against magic damage. This little hook we can access to get back over this platform. Lots of different pathways in this one. I don't think there's anything we can access from down here. Oh yeah, those things. Okay. Uh, is this the one that goes there? No. Ah, shit, we're on the conveyor belt. Fuck, 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 fuck. Don't worry, we can get back up there. That's nice. That'll heal us all the way. Do we have any of those yet? I think we do. Um, let's mug that guy again. That tent was pretty sweet. Hell yeah. Let's see how that flame tongue does. And just attack saving. Man, yeah, not bad. It's better crazy to see us doing such little damage, right? There we go. That's another reason exploring is good. Like, we wouldn't have known, you know, to try magic attacks if we didn't talk to some of the people. Uh, that background noise is cat acrobatics. Continued cat acrobatics. Everyone loves cats. I really wish we could get his abilities to work. I wonder if I'm not going up high enough at first. Oh, you bitch! It's largely because of the emulator that saving the blitzes are... Oh yeah. They are kicking our asses a little bit, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, we'll use this thing to get back up, and that puts us right back over here. So we're gonna get these treasures. There's actually a lot of really good treasures in here. And it doesn't... it doesn't hurt to level up and do all that good stuff. See some new enemies, maybe. No? Okay, fine. We'll use the Bio Blaster again. Mug the back guy again. Maybe that worked this time. Let's see what actual Blizzard does. Why not? It's just a little MP. And Sabin's certainly not helping. It's so weird for the spell to be called Blizzard, because it used to be Ice. And like, obviously they mean the same thing, it's just, it's just strange. You're just used to something being one way for so long and then it's another and you're like, eh? Another that's so very close. Oh, I did an Aura Cannon! Okay, cool. It's not the new one, but it's something. Oosh! Nice, look at all that damage. Let's try to keep that up. Lock run silence, save it made to level, save it run thunder. Cool. What did that do for Saban's hit points? Not too bad. Kinda wish I'd seen exactly where we were before. You guys can just rewind and check it out. Alright. Oh, uh, we go down here. Oh. I am honestly surprised we haven't run into more um, enemies, uh, more different varieties of enemies. Funny thing is, this Blitz that I keep trying to do was one of the ones that was easiest for me to do on Super Nintendo. Um, 
And like I said, it's just the emulator. It's because it's just not registering my inputs the same way. Uh, but it's because I played a lot of Street Fighter, and I always played Dalsum, and it's very similar to one of Dalsum's Yoga Flame abilities. Still nothing, huh? There we go. Crit. That's nice. Was that everything on that expert? Expert? No, he still needs fire. Okay. Where is everyone else sitting? Kirin, working on Kira. Uh, Ketchi, working on Float. Float's a cool spell. And Ramu. Uh, we're working on a lot of stuff there. I think he just switched off this one. Though. He has Kirin done. No. Siren? Yeah, he has Siren done. Uh, we can actually look at his blitzes here. So. Uh, Raging Fist, pummel an enemy with a flurry of fists, we know that one, or a cannon. You can maybe see why that's kind of harder to do, because it's hitting that diagonal, and I don't think I have it set up. You know, I think I mentioned last time I was going to check my control configuration to see if I could fix that at all. I might have to do that again if I break up the episodes here. Uh, or a cannon, holy bolt of energy on one enemy. Meteor suplex, suplex an enemy in the ground. And rising phoenix, engulf all enemies in flames. This is the one I keep trying to do. You can see with the two diagonals, perhaps why I keep screwing it up. Anyway, let's go get this treasure. It was one single ether. So worth it. Okay, is there anywhere else to go through here? No. So, we drop down here. And go to the second little area. It's crazy how much of this I did not straight up know existed. Like, I, I was so scared in this part of the game the first time I played through it that I just didn't do a lot of stuff. Okay, that's, yeah, that's an elevator. This is an alternate way back up if you go around. Everything was hard, and this was when I was little, of course, you know. Um, I believe I saved it. I want to at least show it to you guys, and then I can do something that's not as taxing. Come on, buddy! Yeah, I kind of, I kind of ran through this area. Using all my cure spells and. Just trying to get to the end as fast as possible, not going through too many taxing fights. I suppose we can use Locke's magic after he mugs. Gotta get my head in the game. Oh, I learned fire. How nice. Uh, is there anyone else who has 100% of their Esper? I think. I think it's just Locke, so he's gonna stick on that one for a minute. Did he learn, uh... Oh, he did learn Thundara. Cool. Nice. Nope. Oh, let's heal. That's fine. That's fine. We'll live with that. I like this, cool too, because it's just a cool... Thunderblade. Oh, let's check that shit out. Sword that may cast thunder upon striking an enemy. Bet that's not what you expected. Uh, I think they're... Yeah, they're the same. It just depends on what spell you want to do. Is this better than the... Yes, Edgar has a Bastard Sword equipped. That's right. Nice. We're going to keep mugging for now. It's 
Someday, Saban. Someday I will get your input right. Let's, uh... You know what? Next time. Let's just do Thunder right now. And then we'll check out Thundara next battle. That's kind of cool, right? Nope. Still not doing it, huh? That should probably be the end of them. There we go. <sighs> so last game to level, learned Libra. Cool. I think she learned that on her own. I don't think she's got the Esper equipped for that. Nope, sure doesn't. So that's just some more of Celeste's natural magic. Is it here? Remedy, those are good. They restore all negative status effects. Or remove them, they don't restore them. It's not like they inflict all negative status effects. Okay, come on, walk. Oh, look, there's a cool little shadow there. I'm not walking back for it. Here we go, here's another enemy. Hell yeah. Um, love that guy. Let's get some cure and high potion. Okay, that's okay. Uh, Bio Blaster should be fine here. Oh, they're taking more damage from attacks. Still not great. But it's something. It's better than nothing. It's better than the very low crap we've been dealing with. And these guys have... Oh, I couldn't steal. Well... Oh, they okay, self-destruct, though. That's not good. Please lock out. Oh, he had very little hit points left. Okay, that's fine. One more time, we'll try it. Nope. <laughs> uh, remember when Lock used to not be able to steal? Now Saban can't do blitzes. What's the drill do here? Does it ignore, ignore defense? I think so. Cyan's pretty decent to bring here because his. Uh, <coughs> First ability, Fang, I think it's called, ignores a certain amount of defense. Is this the place? Can I get through here? I suppose not. I feel like maybe I missed something. Maybe we'll end up going back up. Big, complicated facility. Okay, so we drop off here. There's some Magitek armor that's being manufactured on assembly line. Various worrying machines and whatnot. Okay, lock. Let's check out Thundara. Let's blow these fuckers up. Bam. I don't know why I did that. Same reason as Blitz, I guess. Oh, that did it. Save and learn poison. We're getting there. We definitely need to heal it, though. Um, so, oh, geez, Celeste has a lot of hit points. Oh, she's got one of those items, doesn't she? Just have, yeah, green beret. Okay, that makes sense. Treasure here, we can check out that shadow thing. Oh, it doesn't do it here. Boo. Another pair of Dragoon boots. Okay, so it wasn't quite as far away. Hmm. Let's not fuck around with this. Except for Sabin, he's exclusively for fucking around. just want to do it once and then I'll give it up. Now oh, they're dead. Go figure. Locking a level. Celeste learned float. Cool. Okay. So 
So we can do some Esper switching now. <sighs> um, yeah, she's 100% on everything there. Is there stuff she doesn't have? Yeah, we could get Cure and Regen. It doesn't give it any stat ups, but I'm not that worried about stat ups. Um, right. Oh, he had Siren. Does she know Siren? No. Oh, this is fine. Let's just switch it. Let's just do that. Okay, she... He gets a little magic, but he doesn't really need that. But it's not a big deal. No traders down there. Cool. Can we ride on that hook? No. Okay. This door leads us up here. Where we were a moment ago. Or Golden Shield. Mm. Brilliant Shield made of solid gold. I don't think that sounds as wise to use as you seem to think it does. It's going to give us some more defense and some more magic defense, though. Let's see. 142, 102. He doesn't have a shield. Let's give that to. You know what? Locks already the back row. Edgar could use the magic defense. Oh, but he's got... No, he could use the magic defense. There we go. Make him a bit more of a tank. Uh, that's the way we'd take to go back up around. We don't want to do that. Because we it's, it's... I mean, it's backtracking either way, I guess. But uh, What the hell was I doing? Proto armor. Uh, Thundara. Why not? 22 magic points, man. I bet I've done it every time, just absolutely perfectly, when Saban doesn't get a chance to do his move. You can't prove I haven't. Well, at least everybody's learning some magic spells. Would it have been shorter just to go, you know what, who cares? We've got the sprint shoes technique, we can do that. Okay, let's go through here. Can we go under? Yes, we can. See the shadow? Neat. It's just neat. Okay, we've got the advantage. Still can't do it. Scintillation. Oh, she's blind. I have heard of a technique where you can, like, tap it out, but mm, that's hard. These fights would be going a lot faster if I just hit attack with him. I know. I know, you know, I know you know, and I know that you know that I know. So let's just all know things. Good! Holy shit! No, don't fucking just kill him. Good, okay. That's what I get for being smarmy. Hey, Sabin learned Thundara. We'll just use that from now on. Good god. Uh... Relic, Silver Specs, fixed, let's get that white cape back on, okay, Sabin, probably, he's still learning Cura, so, I guess Sabin's going to stick with Ramu for a minute, woof, oh, did we not heal, I didn't even heal, I was just going to go into our next battle like that. I just wanted to fucking die. You know, I showed it to you guys once, but maybe that wasn't enough. Good lord. It's tons of damage, as they say. Alright, this is what I was thinking about. Can I go up here? No. But I can go down. And into this cigarette room. 
Ice Brand we get here. And a Zephyr Cloak, hell yeah. So a Zephyr Cloak. Cloak inhabited by Wind Spirit boosts Evade and Magic Evade. And Sword that may cast Blizzard upon strike. So, we are going to give Celeste the Ice Brand, because it's more on brand. Do you see what I did there? And, uh... That's better for Locke. We can give him the Zephyr Cave. No, we can't because he's got his relics kind of set up. Mithril Glove. Let's give him the Zephyr Cloak. That's a pretty good boost to evade magic block. Okay. So that's that secret. And I think we can keep going down. But I, I'm worried that might be too much of a shortcut. Uh, just use Thunder. Yeah, now he's got Thundar, now we can do some shit. And this is kind of cool, that they give you a magic dungeon at the point where your characters will have learned like a pretty decent amount of magic. So you can kind of play around with the new stuff you have. Level, Celeste so learns sleep. They dropped a Bio Blaster. We'll sell that later, I guess. Uh, we just gave her a new Esper, right? Yeah. Oh, wow. She's kicking up there, though. Holy shit. Can I just not go? Nope, I drop. Ah, yeah. And for some reason, it drops us out over here doesn't really make any sense, but whatever. It works because we now get to explore this area, which is obviously around the area where we were before. So we lost nothing. Except four time spent trying to get Saban to do a fucking blitz. Still nothing. Be the hero of the day, Saban. Do your blitz. Celeste in silence. And obviously this is where we were before. That's how we got into the pipe in the first place. So, let's get back on the... Or oh, right next to some armor. I don't know if I've ever done that before. Have fun. Alright, we pop out right here. Bam. But the armor's gone. Strange. Alright, let's continue forward. I know that laugh. I'm an all-powerful god. <laughs> I'm collecting espers, I'm extracting magic, and... I'll revive the warring triad. You've been completely drained of your powers. No, you're useless to me. And you, take a hike. It's time. Confrontation with Kefka. Let's do this! Okay, you left. I mean, I'll be honest with you. If he's actually a god, I don't want to fuck with the guy. Still no blitz. Someday, Saban. Ooh, 
no, not launcher, new. I think that's doing like a partial amount of our health. Like half or something. Lock when confused, saving gain to level, less than slow and fire, and shoot two bio blasters. We can go and get bio blaster rich, I'll tell you what. <sighs> yeah, but see what a drain this has been around magic points. I mean Edgar's fine because he's got his uh his tools, but um, doesn't somebody else have cure now? Oh, Edgar, duh. Oh, and what do you know? He's the one without a drain on his magic points. There it is. Okay, Celeste has learned everything Siren has had to teach. She knows catch cheese stuff. Kieran's still locked. So, uh, take off Rama. Oh, he's already got Siren. Uh, what about you? Do you have catch she done? Not yet. Siren gives us extra hit points, so that's fine for saving. Uh, so you may wonder where the hell Kefka went when we weren't looking. How did he escape us? Did he not want that tent? The answers to these questions will be delayed because we gotta fight this Belzecu. And his uh, his guard friend. Steal a tent from that guy too. This place is sick with tents. Tents and bio blasters. And incorrect blitz inputs. These are cool dogs with their blue eyes. Kind of creepy. Like, imagine if you were in this facility and you ran into, like, your blue-eyed dogs. Maybe they're, like, glowy eyes. Maybe they're, like, flaming eyes. Maybe they're just that piercing, haunting sort of blue. Cool. Dead. We did it. Lockburn Imp. I think he still had one other spell to learn. I I R C yeah float. It's a long walk, so I'm gonna speed run it. So Kafka went this way. You mug Sabin. Tried it the, the tappy way. I'm sure you heard it. Y'all can hear my controller like crazy. It's clickety and clackety. No, nothing happened. Maybe I'm not smudging it enough. I don't know. It's not that important. I know. It's just neat. And I want you guys to see it. And I want to use it. I think it would be cool. Saban disagrees. Why can't this one be the left, right, left one? Thankfully, we've got a billion bio blasters to cover my inability to input a blitz. Here, another one up. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, is there stuff? Oh, this is where we were before. So, can we technically go through here? Yes. So, that's Kafka disappeared back into the rest of the facility. I wonder what happens if you come at that place from the other direction. Oh, no, because the elevator strikes on the ground. So, uh, we want a mug. And we want a bioblast. And we want a blizzard. And we want to do the fucking blitz. But we're going to cast fire, because I don't think we did the blitz. We did not do the blitz. Let's 
It's good the music in this game is good because I don't always have something witty to say. It's nice that it's there to fall back on. I miss the psychedelic bioblast. Are you kidding me? Kill the dog. Program 95 is a fancy way to say he tried to use the blitz. Okay, here we go. Oop, nope, we're going for that treasure. Duh. Man, we are also going to have just the tents of the wazoo. Do the blitz. No, of course not. Of course not. Would have been too useful. Starting to get salty. At least it was for a gold helmet. Which I'm sure is just a helmet made of solid gold, but let's look. Ah, tough steel helm plated with brilliant gold. That's probably better than what we did with the shield. Um, is that better for Edgar? He's going to lose magic defense and magic block, but he's going to get some defense. That's going to cut his hit points. Uh, we have the twist headband on him for some reason. Gold Helmet, that's going to cut her evade. She's got pretty good evade, though. Mm, honestly, I'm just going to leave it. I think we're fine. So all that for nothing. Anyway, we run around here. And then we're back here. Hooray! Oh yeah, but we can't get back down there. Like I said earlier, if you came from the other direction, so that you don't run into Kefka in a weird place. It, uh, no, you know, just, no, I can't, I gotta, I wanna say it. We're not gonna, I'm basically in here with three people. It's fine, I guess we've got another meat sack to target with spells, so, there's that. Okay, not dead. I don't know why I skipped off of him. He's so powerful, first of all. Nothing. Like Yukon Cornelius, digging for gold. Not Celeste and Thunder, that's nice. Okay, we need to heal some people. Edgar, that's your job. <sighs> so, we've got to go all the way around. Oh, they back attacked us. A cool time to see Locke uh, facing the other direction because he's in the back row. We don't need to drop her magic there, Bio Blaster. Sabin, if you would run forward and fill your blitz input, please. Thank you.
more tents. Let's how many tents? Let's see how many tents we have. No, you know what? Let's not. Let's wait. And we'll see how many tents and bio blasters we've collected. Onion Knight there is a reference to uh, Final Fantasy III, uh, wherein all of the monks could do what they were supposed to do. No, it was a uh, it was a character class, um, and it's since kind of become a uh, a staple of Final Fantasy games. Good news also from all these random battles, we're getting our money back up. You know, it's a lot of resource generation. Where we're in modern games, they might replace that with like jobs or getting your resources other ways. Then again, I played a lot of uh, 15. Well, not a lot. I played a little bit of 15, and uh, you know, there was random battles in that. All right, let's go after those espers that Kefka tossed into this pit. See if they're okay. Let's uh. Here. I thought there was a secret in here, but maybe not. Well, at least you gave him something to eat. There's a flan down here. Ooh, whoa, whoa, whoa. We stole Magicite off of it. That is cool. Can we keep stealing Magicite off of it? No, but it had a potion. Magicite must have been a rare steal. Oh, that was pretty cool. Uh, Magicite, so you don't get too excited, summons a random esper. May summon espers not yet known. Which is pretty exciting. Uh, place to use a tent and heal and save. Very nice. Okay, so just don't look. Don't look at how many tents we have, okay? Just don't pay any attention to it. Alright, just it's obfuscate the number, it's gone. You don't even see it. You don't even see it. Probably got like sixty tents. Or one. <sighs> okay, saving. Good stuff. Oh, they hit us with a magic. That's not good. Ifrit. Let's steal from him. That will surely endear him to us. I'm going to do runic. I just have to. I feel like these espers are going to cast magic. What do you know he did? He doesn't have anything there, so let's attack. Go. Let's keep the runic up. It's gonna get us through the battle. Good thing we have Celeste here. Blaze, however, is not a magic spell, so it's going to walk us up. Good god. Uh, you keep doing that. You attack. Why don't you cast cure? And now that you are not doing Runic, cast here. Alright, Ifrit has tagged out. We've got Shiva now. Who has used Blizzard? Just on Saber now. Doesn't have anything to steal? Okay. I suppose that makes sense. Why would Kefka leave them with stuff? Now you you, you ruin it. Okay, fair. Let's keep the runic up.
Oh, you butthole. You're saving. And. Boy, Locke is doing nothing back there. The freak is back, and they're just going to cure everybody. Critical hit for 133 damage. Woo! And he got his fire in before my runic went off. Double woo! I sense a kindred spirit. Who are you? You have Rambu's power. Wait, we're espers. Yes, I know. You could have given us some magic points, that would be cool. <sighs> well, Ramu did entrust them with his power. Alright, cool. We got entrusted. Gestal has captured our friends and is draining them of all of their powers. I too suffered my turn in one of the glass tubes. That sucks, bro. Hold on, let me fight these flan real quick. Just take me a sickety second here. You know what? Saban's gonna kill him all with a blitz, so. Oh no? Okay. Uh. What about an auto crossbow? What does that do? Slip gunk. Don't want that. Not bad. See, they gave us a magic point. I don't know why you guys couldn't. They drained our powers, then threw us away to die. We haven't long to live. We and Ramu are siblings, each of us born with a different elemental power. If Ramu trusts you, then we will follow his lead and give to you our power. I think I've used like three voices for Shiva so far. Our friends, they too, don't have much time left. I'm sure they will lend you their strength as well. Receive the Magicite Shiva. And Magicite Ifrit. Is it in here? I feel like there's a secret treasure. Maybe I'm wrong. Yes, so. Alright, well, let's, uh. Let's use another tent. That you don't know how many of we have. Don't look. Save again. Okay. That was another fight that was harder in my youth. I am almost positive there's something in here. But I guess I'm just wrong. I guess I'm just a wrong now. Okay. <sighs> ah, we got new enemies now, though. Trapper. Mug him. Couldn't steal. Okay. Go back to the Bio Blaster here. Program 18. Reflected her. That's curious. I think that stays out of battle, too. See, Saban is using his blitzes again, so Locke has reverted to not being able to steal. This is my fault, obviously. I mean, there you go.
Edgar finally learned Cura. That's awesome. Uh, okay, I think Rom. Oh no, we've got Efreet and Shiva now. Vigor. Uh, oh, it still says Vigor, not Strength. Or does it say that in the screen too? Yeah, it says Vigor there too. Shiva doesn't give you anything, but you get them spells. Which is kind of interesting because. Oh no, she just has Blizzard and Cure. About. Okay. She's still learning those, so we'll leave her to learn. Say, but I'm mostly going to be using his blitzes, so let's leave that. He's still learning float, so uh, yeah, okay. Um, let's learn you some ice magic, Edgar. <clears throat> God, is it up here? Ugh. Searching for secret treasure, my man. Oh, a general. Let's mug him. I didn't even see what we stole. I just kind of zoned out for a second, was just looking around. Nice. Here's another chance to see what the hell they've got. Mug. I know they're wearing armor, but I kind of like how their helmet looks like they've got a big angry jaw. Oh, it's a potion. Okay, whatever. The weapons are a good way to get you some extra magic as well. Um, for this place where people are reaching magic. Oh, that's interesting. Because I started the stairs uh, running. It kept me running. Now, I know. Check out these tubes. How creepy, huh? I know there's a treasure here, right? Treasure? Hello? Okay, well, there's supposed to be. Maybe it's on the other side. Lanergia. Hmm. A giant turkey vulture. Shamshir. Which is the name of a sword, so I like to think that he just throws a sword at his green cherry. Nobody has a crap about a green cherry right now. Where that weird turkey vulture got a sword, I'm not sure. There we go, stone blade. Sword that may cast break upon striking an enemy. Break, in Final Fantasy terms, um, is a spell that turns people to stone. Uh, let's give Edgar. No, we want his magic to be. Oh no, but his. Yeah, that, okay, we'll do that. We'll do that. For now. Okie doke. What other horrible... Ooh, a destroyer. Oh, he looks mad. Let's steal from him. That will calm him down. Surely that will endear him to us. So let's check out this uh, stone blade. Here in a moment when Edgar actually attacks. Let's keep mugging that little bastard.
I uh, didn't cast it. Okay. Saban's gonna just counterattack everything to death. Still couldn't steal. Okay. That's dead. It's dead, and we never learned its secrets. Such a shame to leave so much in mystery. Okay. Oh, here's a new friend. Uh. Friends with all new friends. Let's, um. You know, just make sure we're in our best health before we start hanging out with him. And let's give you another high potion. Cool. Okay. Alright. Okay, new friend. I like your haircut. Number 24. Let's see if he's got anything worth stealing. Ooh, a rune edge. Ooh, we got another one. Cool. I'm gonna keep up with rune edge. Okay, did you see what Edgar did there? If not, rewind it. Uh, that was a Zephyr cape in action. He kind of evaded that move, but there was a, uh, a little cape animation. Let me suplex this guy. Overflow. Oh. Oh, I can't suplex him. Fantastic. He's using weak. Okay, Edgar. We're gonna learn about lock. Level 19. Those are hit points. We knew that. That's his magic. Super. Barrier change. So here's the trick with this enemy. He's got... He's got different... Uh, resistances when he uses his barrier change. So you're encouraged to use different kinds of magic. See, now he's immune to ice, I believe that is. Oh, that is going to hurt. Oh, Saban is down. Oh, no. Oh, gosh. Oh, jeez. We're just going to use an uh, X potion. Oh, nobody save. I know it's kind of early. We don't need to do that, but... Uh, he threw himself there. Cool beans. We're just going to go right back to Runic now. He's barrier changing again, that's cool. <laughs> but yeah, so Celeste attacked him with uh, her Blizzard Blade. What a beautiful animation for Explosion. Uh, and it did no damage, so his barrier changed it so that he was no longer susceptible to ice damage. Uh, we're going to hit Edgar to make him stop fucking trying to use tools on us. Thunder is going to give us some MP. There we go. Calm the fuck down. Drill that bastard. Of course, we're ignoring the elementals. See, we've killed him. That was not that bad of a fight because we had Edgar and Saban. They've got really powerful non elemental attacks. So, we just cut right through and beat the shit out of him. Edgar went Blizzard. We got an Ice Brand out of the deal. How nice and neat. Alright, look at that Rune Blade. Is that, is that what Celeste had before, right? Rune, Rune Edge. Is that what we got? Yeah. And yeah, that's what she had before. Okay. Let's just, uh, oops. 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 Oh, oops. We'll fix that later. We'll, we'll fix, we'll fix all this later. Oops. Oops. Big accident. Big old accident there. Get it happen. Check out these critters. And you don't get to see these sprites again, so let's look at them, kids. Well, eh, one of them you do. Guy in the lower right there, he's kind of got horns, kind of a tiefling. Got a, a whale, kind of making kissy lips in the lower left. A unicorn, or a rapidash, if you're a Pokemon fan. We've got some sort of weird pig with a purple mohawk in the right. Upper left, we've got a ghost, and upper right... It's really hard. You know, it looks kind of like a like a weird oni face, like an oni mask, but it's not. It's a cute little foxy sort of beast with a red gem. But I can't unsee the oni mask. The little gold dot is its eye. 
and then the nose is the one paw sticking out, and then the space between the foot and the tail is its mouth. You see, and then the ears are horns. Yeah, okay. Um, well, you know, the best thing to do when you're encountering uh, magic that you, you know, technology you know nothing about is just hit switches. We learned that from Sabin. In fact, you know what? In honor of that, let's have Sabin do what he does best. You want to help me, but I haven't longed to live just as Efreet did before me. I'll give to you my power. I don't know what answer that was. All of them. What are you doing there? What's this? So, Esper magical power can only truly be transferred when one of them passes away. The power contained in these stones is far greater than what we could ever hope to extract. Receive Magicite. I like the exclamation point because we just got a lot. Professor Sid. General Celeste, and who might these dubious characters be? Your troops? No. You see, can it be true that you came here as a spy seeking to cause an uprising? Huh? Celeste? So that's it! Magicite! Sid, you miserable blockhead! Now, General Celeste, the game's over. Bring me those magicite shards. Celeste, you, you deceived us? Of course not. Have a little faith. <laughs> She's tricked you all. Oh, Celeste, that's so you. Locke, please believe me. All right. Now! These are the red guys I was talking about. Exterminate all of them! Oh shit! Oh, it got purple! Locke, let me protect you for once. Maybe now. Now you'll believe me. Celeste, what, what are you doing? Stop it! The surprised look on Kefka's face as he gets sucked upward. Celeste. <laughs> what happened? Oh no, this is a disaster. That blast reversed the energy flow in the capsules. We need to get out of here. Quick, over here. We're gonna have to go quick with the dog, but let's follow. Gavkis, use me. Use the Empire. What have I done? The life energy of those espers. You've helped me come to a decision. I'm going to talk to the Emperor and have this stupid war stopped. Oh, yes, come talk to me again. Oh, shit! I should have saved there. It was giving me the opportunity to save, and I ignored it. Like an idiot. Well, fucking YOLO. Celeste, I've known her since she was a baby. I raised her as if she was my own daughter. 
but I did an awful thing by forcing her to become a Magitek knight. If I could only talk to her, I'd, I'd apologize for all of my mistakes. No, it's Kefka. Go! Bye, save point. I love you. So here's another cool transportation thing. Uh, the graphics are so muddy here, it's hard to tell. Sweet Jesus. Um, I love the background here going so fast. So we're on a little minecart thing. And we're going through some trails in the Magitek Research Facility. You can kind of see the middle track there. When it's blown up this big, it's not great. And on a CRT, it looks a lot better. Well, it looks marginally better. It never looked great. Uh, I don't get any decisions here. There's no different tracks to take. This is basically just a, you know, survive sort of situation. Um, so that's... I love the story of Final Fantasy. It's not the best dialogue in the world. It's not the best script in the world, uh, in that sense. Uh, because right there, so, uh, Sid just suddenly changes his mind about the Empire and everything. Not for much reason. Um, it can be assumed that we... Can I get in my menu here? Of course not. It can be assumed that we filled him in and explained what's going on. Because they do that a lot in this game, where they're like, okay, what happened? And then there's a pause. Oh, I see. You know. Uh, so it's not like the most egregious sin, but if, if you're not... <sighs> they have a lot of shadow coming on them. Um, if you're not looking for it, there's nothing that helps you feel comfortable about... You know, Sid sudden. We well, gotta fuck the Empire then. Uh, but it's whatever. Uh, every Final Fantasy game, after a certain point, has a Sid. I want to say Final Fantasy II actually is the first appearance of a Sid. Um, ours is a banana with a mustache. Uh, he's got a very Oompa Loompa Wonka Tech vibe to his um, his gear. It reminds me of the like weird late '80s um, animated like dystopia stuff like uh i want to say heavy metal i think shit like that um yeah i don't mind stealing all this stuff is cool and these are cool little enemies they got wheels i don't know if you can tell for their hands and feet so like visualize this because this is so cool you're on this mine cart and there's these dudes chasing after you these like horrible machines of, of, of meat and gears that are just you know this is gonna be the coolest fucking action scene in the head of the 11 year old playing this or me right now it's still really fucking cool um, I mean we're just kind of watching some really blown out pixels <laughs> come straight for us but in my mind's eye, those chompy guys. Look, he's got a little exhaust pipe butt. What's not to love about that? Right, let's keep it the drill here. Okay, we were gonna mug that guy, but I guess he's fucking dead. Cool. We need to heal next time I get in a fight. Because I can't get into the menu here. Can't heal that way. It's kind of a gauntlet here. Oh, of course. I knew it. I knew the second I said it, it was going to be a boss fight. Uh, okay. You mug. You. Oh, we've got Kira. Awesome. Oh, Edgar's so good now. See, he heals himself with red feet there. Oh, stop. Stop hurting so bad. Good steal. Well, that's them as the brakes. So this guy's kind of cool. This boss fight can be a little cool. If you kill the little arms, the left and right one, to stop the number of attacks, they eventually resurrect. We can't direct. See, there it went away, but it did that kind of like <coughs> thing that stuff does when it's not really calm. Man, locked got a lot of hit points. Edgar is basically just going to be using his magic points to keep us healed up, because I don't want to die, because we'd have so much backtracking to do. I don't think we're going to, though. I think we're going to be okay. See there? Came back. 
Now, if you kill the center guy, I'm pretty sure they all just go the fuck away. But... You know, uh, the Saban's blitzes don't target, and I can't pull off the one that hits everybody, so... Whatever. We'll do it live. Still can't steal, huh? Casting haste on himself. I think he does that when he gets to a low hit point threshold, so that's cool. It'd be nice if he cast easier to steal from on himself. I've been kind of chillaxed during this whole area, and we've been doing a lot of exploring, but I think this part's really cool. There's a big infiltration thing that you guys, you know, we've, we've run into. This is our third boss so far. You know, we've seen Kefka, we've learned a lot, we met this Sid guy that's been mentioned before as this military genius. Let's not steal from that arm. I think they each have something, but I'm not going to sit here all day and try to kill it. That's a great way to invite hubris and get yourself killed. Oof, okay, maybe, maybe let's use the drill. Maybe let's try to kill this one because we've only got four more spells left. Sabin is stopped. <laughs> Fucking great. Oh, good. Oh, bless you, Edgar. Oh, but we're not out of the woods yet. Five magic points, though. Yeah, fucking learn some spells there. <sighs> That guy's going to stop us. Nope. Dead. Oh, sweet. Yes, yes, yes. That's what we want. That's exactly... Ugh. Oh, okay. So, tens. We used two in there? Twenty-two we would have had. And, um, what about... Edgar's tools? Oh, passed up. Bioblasters. We got three Bioblasters. That's more than we ever need. Okay. Um, Sabin has Siren. He's learned up on. Look at this. This is what we got now. Unicorn. Status recovery on the party. Maduin. Non-elemental attack. Phantom. Makes the party invisible. Catobipas. Petrifies enemies. Carbuncle. Casts reflect on the party. And Bismarck is a water elemental attack. And Bismarck teaches you... Ah, raise. Used to be called life. Uh, increases your vigor. Plus two. That's good. Um, but otherwise teaches you the basic three spells. Phantom, Berserk, Vanish, and Gravity. Uh, gives you more MP, that's cool. Maduin gives you the second level spells. Uh, Fira, Blizzara, and Thundara. Gives you more magic. Uh, Unicorn, Cura. Ooh, at a better rate than Cura. Hell yeah! Uh, Uzna, I believe is how that's pronounced. Asuna, I don't know. I've, I have heard, heard Uzna since I was a kid, but that doesn't make any grammatical sense. But I'm probably going to say it, because sometimes I say Sabin. Whatever. Um, gets us Dispel, Protect, and Shell. I'm not super worried about Protect and Shell, honestly. A new point doesn't give any level-up bonuses. Catoblipas gives us uh, hit points. It also gives us Bio, Break, and Death. I like Bio as a spell, visually, um, if not actively. And Break and Death have selective utility. That may HP plus 10 is good, though. And Reflect, Haste, Shell, Protect, and Teleport at a better rate than we get from Unicorn and Carbuncle. But again, we don't get the level up bonus. So, um, I'm going to... <sighs> can you give him Bismarck? Um, we might switch that to Edgar momentarily, but... Alright, we're good there. Magic, he's just MP, no, HP. Ugh. Yeah, if reads fine. Okay, and we save. Goodbye, Celeste. Do you believe Celeste? Do you think she's actually fighting for us? Or is she a spy of the Empire and she conveniently whisked away Kefka instead of, you know, fucking killing him so that she didn't have to deal with the consequences of her actions? And, uh... What the fuck is the phrase I'm looking for here? Um, and they got to, like, run off together. And, you know, talk about, yeah, yeah, we did this and that, and I've learned this. I mean, we basically just did reveal to Kefka how to truly extract the power from Esper's. Why am I using 
fucking thunder. There we go. Should show off some of these espers too. Maybe once we're out of a crisis. Once we have a nice relaxing situation. We still have to escape Vector. The Empire knows we're here. Um, you know, this is such an action-packed little sequence. Made a bit calmer by all the, you know, random encounters. A bit more tedious, perhaps not calmer. Bioblaster, because you guys are still where you are. One of the many ones. Edgar has a selection to pick from now. That's right, son. That's what you get. Edgar learned Osmos. And Rasp. Reminds me of that episode of Daria. With a Rasp. It's uh, season two. Oh, we're all learned up. Okay. Um, ironically, I'd kind of like Edgar to have Rays, but he doesn't really need Bio. Um, let's get him Unicorn. Start some spells. Run! Run! How are we going to do this without Celeste? She's the one with Runic. Let's mug that thing. And we still want Bio, fucking of course. See, that's cool too, though. I didn't even think about this. Bio Blaster is Edgar's tool that does magic damage, which is why I've been using it. Because <coughs> it does more damage than this. Uh, auto crossbow here. So, the, you're picking up tools if for some reason you haven't bought them to deal magic damage, just to help you out. That's, that's fucking great game. Um, and I do want to talk about uh, very briefly here, I've mentioned it, but there's so much in this game you don't have to do that is completely voluntary, that's just little details where you can learn more, like finding that, oh, are you going to call more people? I'm going to call down the thunder, how about that? How about that's what happens? That's what happens when you fuck with me. Uh, there's so many little details, like the pub that we went into where we learned about Kepka's backstory and stuff. Um, that uh, you just don't have to find. You can sail through so much of this game without learning things like, you know, uh, Edgar and Saban's past. I just, I like, not so much that that's an option, like, you know, that you could miss out on it. Then again, it, it encourages, you know, other playthroughs if if you enjoy the game. Ah, oh, come on! Alright, you know what? Not... Oh, these are the tent boys, though. Let's get more tents. Let's get more tents and do more blitzes. Who cares about tension? Let's just do this. Am I right, kids? You don't care about the tension of the story. That's not why you're here. You're here for random battles. And tents. We're gonna gift you. We're gonna bring you tents and Saban not doing blitzes. And Locke being unable to steal. What did that boss have? Well, I don't know. We're never gonna find out. That guy's got a tent. We know that much. I started this as a joke, and then I actually, like, kept up with it long enough, but I, I might as well get the other tents now. Why not? It's free tents! Like, think about every person you encounter in a day. What if each of them gave you a tent while you failed to input a blitz? That's, that's just, that's great. It's just tents. Tents all day. And we'll just go ahead and kill that guy. Since we're all full of fun tents. Edgar, do him. See, there was that Zephyr Cape animation again. Okay, lock. There we go. Save and learn Blizzard. See, this was very important. Got a lot of money out of that. 
You took a while, I was starting to worry. Huh? Where's Celeste? We'll talk later. Let's get out of here. Crap! What a mess. Uh, he used to say crud. I liked crud. What a mess. I don't think so. You won't get away. has arms. Fuck. Let's not overstay our visit. We're out of here on the double. Right. Speaking of which, maybe we should be leaving. Something horrible's coming. Whoa, what in the... This is our fourth boss fight in a row. Lots of action in this sequence. We get to play a crane game with ourselves. And this is the first time we get to use Setzer. <sighs> Set Ooh, stolen noise blaster. Uh, Setzer's ability is slot. A little slot machine comes up, and you try to... We got Chocobos. I wonder what that will do. Chocobo Stampede. Does this make any sense? Not really. Is it still cool? Yes. Uh, these guys have different elemental weaknesses as well. Oh, and they cast different spells, and they really make you miss Celeste. Ugh, ugh, ugh. Okay, you got Kira. Ah, uh, no, no, no! I wanted to do it to everybody. Sad face. This is gonna hurt. This is gonna hurt a lot. Uh, Locke, do you have a cure spell? Of course not. That would be useful. Ah, uh, see, he used fire on that guy, so he got better. So you want to be really careful about what you use. Saban. That was, uh, Setzer there. I didn't see the title of it in this one, but... We got airships, so he used his airships. Oh, I hope we can kill the other one before it gets too powerful. Oh, yes, you healed yourself. Aren't you good? Oh, Setzer's fucking dead. Setzer just gets no experience. Sorry, Setzer. Thanks for coming. He didn't have an Esper equipped anyway. Who cares? It's just magic. Points. <sighs> the air shipped out of there. I'm worried about Terra. Let's return to Zozo. Terra? Who's that? I'll explain on the way about Terra... Espers, the Returners. So off we go to Zozo. We're all here. Tara. Setzer's like, what the fuck? Magicite. Father? I remember now. I was born in the Esper world. Oh, it's time for plot. You thought it was done? The Esper world. Thought it was done when we escaped the facility? Is not. Shit's still going. Remember this guy? The tiefling looking guy? That's us right now. Oh, he's fast. He got the. He's sprinty. I don't think we can collect items here, which makes sense. Can I go to bed? No. No menu to open. But this is Madwin. Cool looking dude, huh? There's places to uh, check out around here. Emergency! Something's coming through the gate! We can go around and talk to people. It's still a town. Whatever's coming through the gate, gate will keep. 
Oh, Dragon? You okay, Madeline? Doing good, Dragon. You're doing real good. Bunch of shit here. So there's storage, I guess. It's kind of trippy to be going faster without holding on the B button because of this hack. Oh, wow, there's actually the B button. I suppose it would have been the A button in the Super Nintendo version. This evening is an ill over. You okay, Madwin? This, this looks like the Elder's house. The Elder's a weird creature, isn't he? We'll take a look at his sprite here in a minute when we talk to him next. You're the gatekeeper, Madwin? Strong winds. Be careful, Madwin. A lot of people tend to agree that um, Madwin should have been translated as Maydeen, uh, who is an Esper in some other, well, an Esper equivalent in some other Final Fantasies. Um, and it's strange that they didn't change that here. Hey, pull yourself together. Wait, is this a. What will you do? Let's return together! Because if we hit Lieber here and then go talk to everybody, we still have to go fucking get her, so. They don't say anything different. She's pretty weak. Better let her rest for a while. Okay, so let's look at this guy here. What what do we have? What is going on there? Has he got like a... He's got wings, okay? He's clearly got angel wings. Oh no, those are robes. Did I hear there was a human here? I just did this guy's voice and I've changed it already. Probably wandered in here by mistake. Yeah, okay, there's his angel wings. Uh, he's got this weird kind of lumpy face. Has he got a really long, big face? Has he got a beak? What is going on there? And just This sprite, out of all of them, is one of the most interesting ones in the game. He's got such high-ass shoulders. Maybe he's got like a really low, maybe the dark part is where his eyebrows are. I don't, that's just bizarre. And where are his hands? His hands in his pockets? Does he not have hands? Are those sleeves? Is it like a weird vest thing? What is going on with this guy? Anyway. We should kill her right away. Humans and espers can't coexist. Did I awaken you? You're... an Esper? Why, why am I wearing this pendant? Uh, a gift. It's yours now. It's a charm here in the Esper world. Esper world? So this is where I ended up. The Esper folk are at a loss as to how a human came to our world. You're the one who saved me, right? I'm Madeline. I was sick of living in the human world. That world is filled with desire, greed, and loathing, so I wandered into the storm and I ended up here. They say espers and humans cannot coexist. So I'm not wanted here, right? No, I mean... I'll return to my own world tomorrow. You'll need a guide. See that elder? That elder knows when two people says Macalacan on each other. That elder is in the know. That human already left. I wonder if she'll be alright without a guide. Oh, and who told her to do that, elder? A human girl made it all the way to the gate. If this generation of humans knew about our abilities and decided they wanted to utilize our powers, it would be a total disaster. It would, it would suck a big one. You even realize what you've done? Oh, now the dragon's judging us. Jesus. I'm glad I gave him a real cute voice. Let's go talk to this other fairy here. Why has this happened now after all these years? I don't know, man. It's just like Esper's science. Look, whatever, she's hot. For being so judgy. 
Right, I forgot that was just the storage place where nobody is. I mean, okay, you want to talk about attention to details, fucking unnecessary, that storage place. <laughs> the link between worlds has surely weakened over the past thousand years. Why not write out, maybe he says 1,000. Everyone here is feeling uneasy. Nope, saying the same thing. Okay, what about you? You would say something different. A human girl made it all the way to the gate. Well, how about them apples? There's some more uh, daikon radishes and cabbage down there. Or sleeping leaf bunnies, I don't fucking know. What's wrong, Madwin? I got to go. If you don't want to return to your world, you may stay here. But human and espers cannot coexist. How do we know for sure unless we find out for ourselves? How do we know? Unless we... find out for ourselves. That was a euphemism for sexual intercourse. I've chosen her name. What is it? It's Tara. Beautiful, isn't it? Just a class place to uh, have your character named Butt Poop. Two years later. Remember Tara's narrating this. This is like How I Met Your Mother, the TV series. And then they fucked. My mom and dad got real down on it. Spun into space they were fucking so hard. Locke, very uncomfortable, sets her. Go on, tell me more. Humans, the nexus between our worlds is open again. The wind, so odd, just like two years ago. Um, we know these guys in this music. This is different than when Madeline came. Troops have come seeking our magical power. Bap. Kaboosh. Blast it, they've made it as far as the Elder's house. Now we know that guy. Aha. We finally found it. Those ancient writings told us of this world and described the awesome magical properties of these beasts. Grab them. Witches to any man who captures an Esper. Go! Tara's alright. As a name. The baby's fine too. Man. No. We've no choice. We must do what we've been avoiding. You mean the magic barrier? Here's the plan. We'll cause a tempest that'll sweep all the nasty creatures out of our realm. Then we'll seal the gate. I'm the last of our kind able to cast this magical seal. But at your age, it might kill you. I may not survive, and without me, you'll never again be able to open the gate. But at least you'll be safe. Madeline. I, for one, will not miss the other side. Let's do it. We have no other choice. So, Madeline, Tara's mom, is like big millennial mood, right? Okay? She is tired of society and just fucks off into a storm. Literally like a blinding storm. Comes out in some sort of fey world. First dude she meets, horrible monster man, and she's like, I want in his pants. I am so down with this. He has said three nice things to me. I want to get all up on him. Births his half-monster baby. And and it's just like, eh, you know, fuck society. This Madeline unsung hero of uh, Final Fantasy. Soon the humans will arrive. That'll suck. Tara's alright, still. That's a name. Could have gone with Tina. I don't know. Sounds better, I think. Exotic. This is all because of that human girl. 
Nonsense. I'm sure she helped the others find us. Stop that right now. No, she's the same as them, using us from within. Damn it, Madeline. Why are you chasing after her? Go fuck up that wolf, kick his ass. Madeline took Tara with her. Oh, well, okay, alright, I'm fucking going then. Goddamn. God, guys gotta be such big butt shits. Y'all wanna, y'all wanna, okay, fuck it, yeah, let's go see. Nothing's going on in Madeline's house. We got time. What do we got? Nothing but time. Some danger. I think they say the same thing. Oh, <laughs> three times. I'm an idiot thrice. <sighs> Everyone's uneasy. Like between worlds this weekend. Yep. Yeah, okay. Same shit. I've heard the uh, Link Between Worlds is actually a pretty good game. <laughs> Where are you going? Oh, it's Madeline. She... Impossible. It's too late. I've already begun casting the barrier. There's no turning back. I don't care. Oh, we're being sucked out. Hey, or Shriek. Just when we were in reach of a veritable bonanza. He wants it. Gestalt wants it bad, dude. We gotta go get Madeline. Madeline, I'm not one of them. I know that. Thank you. Will you come back home with me? Yes. Tara? Madeline. I like Madeline's laying down spread. Oh, look what popped out. A human girl. This child is... Please don't touch my baby. Your words. Mm -hmm. Then she's half human and half... Esper. How absolutely fascinating. <laughs> Seems my dream of an empire will come faster than I ever imagined. This is the view from the gate that they're shutting. No! Hush, my dear. You will own this world. <laughs> I do want to say that whole sequence was way better translated. Lots more. You can tell there was modern influence in there. The dialogue was punchier. Um, way better than the original Super NES version. Father, is that you? I'm the daughter of an Esper and a human. That's where I got my powers. Now I understand. I finally feel I can begin to control this power of mine. As long as I only use it in short bursts. So, Gestol must have known the secret of the Esper's power back then. And those Espers at the facility were grabbed during that expedition. <coughs> Excuse me. That means Celeste's power came at the expense of an Esper. They can't get away with this. We have to strike back. What's happening in Narsh? Maybe we should head back that way. The airship is ready. Let's go. By all means, take a turn at the wheel. Now these are the operating instructions, he's just telling us shit here. Sometimes for fun, I, I read it out loud. Yep, we're all right. Sure, teach us your secret technique.
Weird that Saban, the sets are dead. He's, he's died. Okay, Phoenix Down sets her. There's that guy that heals down there. I don't remember if he does Phoenix Down stuff. Um, let's just remove everything. He doesn't have anything. I don't know why I keep backing out. We have LNR buttons. And the equipment goes down there, so. Uh, all members. And those not now in your party. I think that would have worked on Celeste, but I don't like taking chances. So, let's go talk to Terra. There she is. I'm alright. I'm sure peace is within our grasp. Yes, let's change party members. Let's change to just Terra. Okay. So here's everyone sitting here in the blackjack. Gal becomes stronger on the belt. No, I'm changing your party members yet. I can't believe we played a major role in it all. That is something they don't make expressly clear. As I mentioned earlier, um, we, we basically told Kafka how it works. We fucked up. Uh, and the Espers did too, but it was our presence and the, the presence of the Magicite, and they were like, oh, these are people that our friends trust. The Empire doesn't get it. The Empire doesn't has not figured out in all this time, Terra's uh, 18 to 21, somewhere in that age range, 22 maybe. Uh, I want to say she's only like 19, though. Uh, in the last 20 years, the Empire has not figured out Magicite. These guys have Magicite. We've never seen them before. And, you know, they can sense that, you know, the, the, the returners at our party is trying to help them out. So they're like, yeah, let's do it. Let's let's help these guys out. Let's uh, give them our power. So we, we all kind of fucked up there. Uh, there is something else I want to point out, though. So let's look at all these characters in here, okay? Remember how I talked about color palettes before? Um, Celeste has her color palette that is the same as Edgar and Saban, Okay. Uh, Locke and Setzer and Cyan have the same color palette. Um, Gao has a color palette similar to some other people in this game that we have not met yet. Uh, but I'm sure you've seen the NPCs around. Nobody else in our party at this point has Terra's color palette. So Terra stands out as unique. And it sells that idea throughout the game. Throughout all the people you meet. Like, I think there's some dancers, and there's some, like, village NPCs and stuff. And there's one person I think may have Terra's color palette, but it is used in such a violently different way, you wouldn't notice it, and he might not even actually have that color palette. It might be a different palette. So, yeah, Terra stands out. She's different. And the game sells you that in in just the colors used to create her, her little pixels there, the, the shades of purple in her gear and the red, and the green hair. So yeah, just, just little visual storytelling. So, I'm not just sitting here being smug and playing games, I'm thinking about next strategy. Let me at the Empire. Sabin, he wants to go charging in, guns blazing. What's the most important thing in life? Being free of obligations. Otherwise, you lose the ability to gamble. So, let's get a party together. Um, everyone's decent levels. But, uh, let's get Terra, since she was so concerned. I am so done playing Locke right now. Um, let's get Gao. He's cool. And it's been a while. Uh, Setzer's pretty neat. You guys want to play with Setzer a little more? Yeah, yeah, we really do. Thanks for telling me that. Let's get set through the party. Um, yeah, that should be alright. Uh, there's a reason I want to go... No, you know what? Let's go for it. Let's go ahead and get everyone equipped. Uh, let's remove those cards so we can look at them. deck of playing cards sporting the mark of a casino. What casino? I don't know. I guess the blackjack. Because it's the only fucking casino I know. Um, 
do cards have the same utility from the back row? I think they might. Let's equip them. Let's see. But we'll do some experimenting, okay? We love that, right? <sighs> okay. Let's equip Terra with her dad. Um, Setzer. Let's go ahead and get him some hit points with Catablebus. <coughs> Gow. Um, let's go to some starting spells. Let's go and get Bismarck. And Cyan. Uh, Phantom School. Okay. Has everybody healed up? Yeah, we're all good. I think they healed up when we switched them out of the party. Uh, Science versus an MP because I think what we equipped on them. Actually, let's make sure they've got equipped with good stuff. Um, yeah, that that's probably pretty good. Golden shield's nice. Gold helmet. If you do a Priest Miter, that gives us a little less defense, but better magic defense and magic block. Green Bray's going to give us more hit points. Let's do the Priest Miter. What is that? Yeah, she's got okay hit points. And then White Dress, as we saw, is really good. So, uh, Relic's on Terra. Let's give her the White Cape for some more defenses. And... Zephyr Cloak. Yeah, yeah. Let's make Terra a fucking monster tank. Okay, for him, we don't have another throwing weapon for him. That would be cool, but uh, Hermes shoes sounds like a good idea. Uh, and a hero's ring, attack and magic power, and yeah, black belt. That could be cool. Ooh, should should Cyan have the black belt? Gao should have the black belt. Duh. Duh. Um, let's give him peace ring. Defense preserve and confusion. Yeah, fuck it. Uh, let's give him a black belt and a ribbon. I believe that's been our go to for Gao. Let's give Cyan uh, Hyper Wrist, right? Yeah. And Knight's Code. Why not? Those are the hit points. 500 at level 17. What expert did we put on him? Phantom. Phantom increases your MP. Um, let's get him an HP. Yeah, let's get him Siren. I believe I already showed off Siren with the butt and everything. So we'll show off the other espers. You know what? In that sense, let's go ahead and give him Phantom. All right, and now the game is different. We have access to the airship. We can literally go anywhere we want. <sighs> Flight controls. You know, I always thought it was Star Fox, but maybe this is why I play with inverted controls. Up takes you down because you're moving the nose of the ship forward. Down takes you up because you're moving the nose of the ship with the nose of the ship up. Like you're pulling back. Here we go. There's some turning. As he said, you can do some high-speed turns. Ooh, crazy. A little blinky engine. That's cool. And then uh, you can hold this button and kind of do like this if you want. <laughs> I don't know why you would do that. Um, we have the whole world map open to us. There's a lot of cool stuff we can check out. And we will. Um, but let's first go to... We... Hello. Y'all didn't miss anything. It looks like that's where my game recording thingy caps out. So, um, I am actually going to land this ship. That is not how you land the ship. Lift off. There we go. going to settle down right here. I am going to save the game. And, uh, yeah, we'll go from there. Uh, thank y'all for watching. Um, I plan on playing some more.
and we will have more episodes because I love this fucking game. Hopefully you're learning along with me why I think this game is so cool. Um, it's not the gameplay as much as it used to be, I'll be honest with you, but anyway, I, I will blab about this game a lot more in the future. Um, thank you for joining me, and uh, catch you in the next episode. Whiteout. out.